this is a new functionality in uh, 2.6.5 Drishti Paint. Um, I'll show the new functionality called Checkpoint in uh, 2.6.5. So let me load uh, a data set. So this is about um, 800, uh, around 800 uh, megabytes. So let me just talk through the changes in uh, 2.6.5. Uh, the mask file that is created uh, when uh, Drishti Paint loads the data. Uh, previously it used to be dot mask file. Um, but now the mask file is in the compressed form and I have given an extension dot mask dot sc which is the compressed form you can see that the original volume size is 827 mb whereas the mask file is only 6 uh, 6 mb uh, because it is compressed um, so the new version um, uh, 2.6.5 your mask data is basically saved as a compressed in a compressed form uh, if it were uh, so up to 2.6.4 your mask uh, size would be the same as your volume size so in this case uh, your data size is 8 827 MB your mask would also be of the same size but since uh, 2.6.5 the mask will be stored in compressed form and which will be much smaller compared to your uh, original data <coughs> and if you want to get back the the raw form of your mask data then you have the ability to export dot mask file which is the essentially in the old format which is the non compressed one now let's have a look at the checkpointing Users have, be, users have been complaining that if they do any painting then there is no undo button. Now the reason it's hard to implement undo is because uh, the data or all the uh, all the painting operations or the slice operations are saved as a volume. In order to give undo facility I'll have to replicate the volumes and that becomes a bit uh, space consuming. Uh, but what I have done here in version 2.6.5 is given you the ability to checkpoint your data. So what you can do is you can basically save your data state, your mask um, mask information in a file called checkpoint. So this is the file. So the extension is dot mask dot checkpoint. So that's your checkpoint file. If the file doesn't exist, then automatically it will be created when you checkpoint your data. Um, also, when you are moving from 2.6.4 to 2.6.5, your mask um, uh, file will be automatically converted to mask.sc. So it will be automatically saved as mask.sc file here. Okay, so what is the use of checkpointing? What you can do is once you have checkpointed your data sets uh, or your mask, then it is like a keyframe in uh, Drishti render. You can go back to checkpoint. So there are three options here, checkpoint, load the checkpoint and delete the checkpoint. So we have already checkpointed, I have already checkpointed a few data sets, a few, um, uh, well, mask states. So let me load back one of the mask. So I have got two checkpoints here. So let me go to say yellow or uh, let me first checkpoint this one here so let me checkpoint say latest whatever it is you can give whatever name you want so this is checkpointed now it is saved to checkpoint file so which is essentially this one here and you can see that there is a slight increase in the file size and I can go back to different one
so this is the old state and if you're happy then you can go and save the work so this is the old state here so these were painted and this was painted if I am happy with this then I can go back here and, and then I can just say save work and this will be part of this will be saved into mass.sc file now I can go back here and load another checkpoint say yellow and two more so these ones that were loaded and then the latest is basically the same one so let's go and say paint a few and then we can checkpoint it now what I can do is I can change the axis of uh, the pivot point using control and left uh, right click and I can change the pivot point so these are this is again a new addition to um, drishti paint where you can change the pivot point normally the pivot point is just the center so this is the pivot point here let me just on the way just show here so change the pivot point so this is rotating around that change the pivot point here that's control and uh, right mouse button painting now suppose we have painted up to this point and we want to save this state let me just change the pivot point okay so this is the state that we want to save so we can go to checkpoint and we can just use whatever so that's checkpointed now we can delete any checkpoint so for example this one that is I can just delete that select that and that's the record that will be deleted so I've removed the latest so we should have now three checkpoints now you can see So yellow, yellow plus two and one more added. So I can go back to yellow. Which was the first one. So as you can see, these ones were painted. They are not now. And I can come back to this one here. One more added. So in this way you can checkpoint your work um, and then come back to it later on especially when you are doing uh, some complicated operations it's it's possible that it something might go wrong so better to save the checkpoint and then continue with the operation um, if the operation fails then you can always come back to the checkpoint you can just load that checkpoint again and start from there and because you have now the ability to checkpoint your data, save your checkpoint, load the checkpoint and delete the checkpoint, you can basically save your work as many times as you want um, and be assured that the work will not be lost.